Hey everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So today we've got a really exciting video for you. Uh, last month, Rick Ream and I went out to West Virginia for the Lethal Air air gun hunt and it was absolutely epic. So leading into this hunt though, Rick and I knew that we were going to be doing a lot of testing with the FX Impact M3 with the new power block, shooting the new 357 tension barrel kits. Now these barrel kits are specifically made for shooting slugs. Now for over a year now, I've been testing the 357 pellet liner and the thing is just crazy accurate. I'm shooting uh, 100 yard bench rest cards, anywhere from scores like 210. I think I shot a 225 one time with it. It's really a great barrel liner for pellets. Now, shooting with slugs takes a very specific liner and FX made sure they got it right. And guess what? They nailed it with this thing. This liner is absolutely awesome. We were shooting the new hybrids, the 68 grain hybrids, and they are insanely accurate. But going into this big game hunting scenario that Rick and I were going on back in June, we knew you can get this thing up now up to 190 foot pounds of energy with the tungsten at higher pressures. Even in that higher range with the new power block and the tungsten hammer, that's still in that range where you really have to know the terminal performance of your slugs. So in our testing with these FX hybrids, they are absolutely wicked they are literally like grenades going off on small game animals you're going to turn pigeons into pink mist when you hit them with this thing but in our testing we found that it probably wasn't going to be the right uh, tool for the job for larger animals like a ram that's going to be in that 150 to 200 pound uh, weight range part of this testing we decided to do some ballistics gel testing we were testing solids versus uh, hollow points and our results are absolutely just revealing. So let's check out the results. Okay, so for all this testing, we are using the Clear Ballistics Gel 10% uh, FBI rated block, and I'm at 10 feet away. And that's I'm just using 10 feet as the common distance away from the block for every shot. Obviously, we're not gonna be shooting big game animals at 10 feet away, but that's just a common uh, distance away from the block. So whenever we're looking at penetration shot to shot, we have a, a benchmark um, of distance to shoot from, from the block. So let's check out the results. All right, so here we go. We've got uh, right at six inches of penetration there and it snapped back. So with this clear ballistics gel, it'll go in there and it'll snap back a little bit. So uh, right at six inches of penetration, snapping back, but man, look at that expansion. I mean, that is absolutely wicked. So definitely small game, coyotes, fox, medium game animals. I would definitely uh, use these 100%. All right, so those hybrids were pretty awesome for small game, but definitely not for a larger game animal. So we are going to be testing the uh, effects of a solid in the ballistics gel block, and we're going to be using these uh, 81 grain pellets, and let's see if they get a bit more penetration. Here we go. All right, so here we are back at the house doing a quick measurement and this test turned out exactly how I thought it was going to and is a great visual example of why massive expansion with hollow point slugs isn't always what you want. When you're hunting with a big bore air gun around 300 foot pounds or less, you really need to start considering penetration over expansion because if you're hunting with a slug that's made to turn basically inside out or have massive expansion that's you know great you're dumping a bunch of energy but when you're hunting big game with air guns you are not dispatching that game animal with foot pounds of energy or hydrostatic shock you are basically taking out um, both lungs you're taking out the respiratory system which shuts that down which puts down the game animal ethically very quickly uh, when you're going for heart lung shots, you got to have that penetration to get there. And another thing is if you're taking shots on game animals that aren't completely broadside 50 yards and closer, if they're quartering in any direction, not getting that penetration, you're going to be tracking that animal for quite some time. And you're probably not going to get the blood trails that you're looking for. So 
Real quick, let's take a look at these measurements here. Again, we are shooting the uh, exact 35 uh, pellets and based on our results here, we are getting 17 inches of penetration, snapping back here to around 16 with all five of those shots. And based on this test, I now know definitively <laughs> we need to be shooting a solid slug through the FX Impact M3 357. So we are going to be testing the pro slugs, the Terminators. These are solids and these little pills right here seem to be almost made perfectly for the FX Impact M3 35 cal with the new barrel made specifically for slugs and rick and i got out and we were able to test these let's check out our testing yeah that's exactly where i was aiming that's awesome perfect little round at 950 feet per second that kind of accuracy all right, so with all of our testing done, we were confident and we were gonna be able to get the kind of penetration we needed for the size of animals we were gonna be targeting, which were going to be rams. There's quite a few different species of rams that were out here in West Virginia. We had doll rams, we had black Hawaiian rams. And what was interesting, they were all about that same size, probably 125 to 175 pounds. But what was interesting about them is that their, their wool, their, their wool on them was just matted. So Rick and I are talked a lot about it during the uh, ride out there in the side-by-side, -side, talking about the anatomy of the animal and how it's very similar to a deer, targeting that, that vital V basically right above the elbow, but missing that scapula, getting it as tucked close into that vital V as possible to get that heart lung shot making sure if we had to to avoid that matted wool because that stuff is probably just like body armor for uh, an air gun in this foot pounds of energy range so let's check out the hunt take him Oh, he's going down. Oh, look at him. He's going down. Look at him. He's going down. Oh, man. That's freaking awesome. Oh, my gosh. He's gone. He's gone. He's laying. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, smoked him, baby. Smoked him. 35 impact, man. Whew. Yeah, he took a couple steps and went down. So, there he is. No. FX Impact, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there it is, guys. The FX Impact with the power block. It wasn't a far shot. I mean, probably what, maybe 30, 35 yards yeah. or something like that, but we yeah. smoked them. Yeah, it was a nice shot, though. Yeah, it was actually pretty crazy when he first pulled up my sight picture. I saw all that wool, all that really heavy matted wool on the side right there on the shoulder. I picked a spot where it seemed a little bit uh, less dense and uh, just, I just sent it. Because yeah. when I heard it hit that hard, I was like, oh man, yep. he didn't go far. Oh man, he? maybe like 10 yards. Yeah. You know, when Rick brought this gun, we're here at the uh, Lethal Air Air Gun Hunt 2022. Rick brought his 35. I've got mine set up in 30 and we wanted to go big bore. Yes. Right? And yeah. I said, I want to take a big bore FX impact animal this week. So Rick allowed me to borrow his his yeah. slug <laughs> slinger and this thing is stupid accurate like 50 75 100 yards we were holding crazy groups yeah so yeah I, I, when i was standing there i was like man when he turned broadside i said take him take him and then you smoked him i was yep. like oh man yeah, yeah so was... to, to tell the whole story though we were basically we saw yeah. this pod of uh, rams down here we got elevated up here and it was probably gosh it was probably more than a 45 degree angle shot didn't feel comfortable with that, even though go for a headshot with this kind of precision. Just worked our way around, went for the double yeah. lung. No reason to risk it. Went down in 10 yards. I did like the, the low stalk we did down here because yep. you used this ravine here to yep. come up along and exactly. come into there. Yeah. But yeah. That no, was a great hunt. FX impact, getting the job done. That's cool. All right, yeah. let's go check him out. All right. So there it is, everybody. An absolute amazing hunt. It was great hanging out with my brother, Rick Ream. Definitely check out his hunt with his black buck that he absolutely drops in place. Check that out on his channel. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Take care.